Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. In this video I want to talk about a little learning aid regarding German articles and how to choose them, how to determine them, so to speak. Like, which article belongs to which German noun? And why? So the little learning aid I'm going to talk about doesn't count for all German nouns, but for a lot of them. So let's find out more about it. Before I'm gonna go into detail about the learning aid itself, let's talk about some basic information regarding German articles first. Articles belong to nouns, so to speak, and there are three standard singular German articles in the German language. Der for masculine nouns, die for feminine nouns and das for neuter nouns. And the first good and kinda easy thing about German articles is that all plural forms of German nouns always feature the plural article die. Der Löwe singular, die Löwen plural. Die Blume singular, die Blumen plural. Das Meer singular, die Meere plural. But German articles aren't stiff things. They can change depending on the grammatical case of an object or in the context of a sentence. However, in this video I only want to talk about the non-flectated, the nominative articles der, die and das. So if you want to learn more about des, dem and den, for instance, click here or the thumbnail that's gonna appear at the end of this video. So yeah, the main question about this whole topic is pretty obvious, isn't it? How should I know when to use which article? Like, which German noun features which article? Well, a very helpful advice that I cannot repeat enough honestly is learn the German noun along with its respective article or articles. Because, well, some German nouns can have two or even three different articles. Yeah. This being said, there is a certain link, a certain correlation between certain German nouns and certain articles. So this little trick has to do with the endings of many German nouns. You might have heard of the German word die Untersuchung, for instance, and it's a feminine noun, die Untersuchung. There are three letters at the end of this word, U, N, G, that kinda build like a fixed group of letters. You will find this group of letters, U, N, G, Ung, at the end of many other German nouns as well. So what is this? This is called a suffix, das Suffix. And believe me when I say there are many more suffixes in the German language, because, well, the German language wants to strike again, as always. And here, ladies and gentlemen, the magic trick. Kinda magic. Well, it's not really magic, but... Yeah, let's just talk about it. German nouns that end in the suffix ung are feminine. They feature the article die. For instance, die Abteilung. There are certain German nouns with certain endings, certain suffixes, certain fixed groups of letters that are recurring in many German nouns. And they basically have a distinctive article to go along with them. German nouns are masculine when they end in the following suffixes. Ant. Take a look at the German word der Elefant. Ich, or ich, as it's pronounced as well. Der König. The suffix ling in der Schmetterling. So before I'm gonna continue, a little reminder, because always make sure to check the suffixes carefully. Is it really the suffix you are looking for, or does it only seem like it? For instance, take the German noun das Ding, which I've talked about in an episode of Interesting German Words, by the way. It looks kinda similar, but it's not the suffix ling, because the L is missing. And the L belongs to the suffix ling. It's a fixed group of letters, remember that. Last but not least, the suffix us. For instance, in der Zirkus. Let's continue with some suffixes for feminine nouns. I in die Datei, Schaft, for instance in die Errungenschaft, Heid and Kite, for instance in words such as die Dankbarkeit, die Sicherheit, I, which basically is spelled IE, 
but it's pronounced like a long E. Di magi. And last but not least, let's talk about a suffix for neuter nouns. Chen. Das Märchen. The suffix chen in particular is used for many minimized forms of German nouns. For instance, das Pferdchen, which is a minimized form of das Pferd, the horse. All in all, there are a few more suffixes I could have talked about as well, but well, I think this should do for now. As always, I'd appreciate a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'd also appreciate a subscription to the channel if you're interested in more videos about the German language and culture. Find many different links, for instance, to the official Vlogdave Facebook page or a PayPal donation link if you want to help me out with a little tip and, well, many, many more links in the video description down below. However, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.